Hey, my name is Radu. In this video, I'd like to show you a brief tutorial on how to use Microsoft Project 2016. This is by no means like a complete course because the uh, project is very complex. It will take me a few hours to go through all the all the features. But in this video, I'd like to help you get started. So let's get started. Let's create a blank project. And uh, if you have never heard, uh, never seen a project before, this is like the default. Uh, standard view usually we work with a uh, project to create gun charts here we have the task that we define and here we have the timeline of course we can do zoom in zoom out whatever to see the information the way we want it okay and um, besides this you probably if you work with project you see you know that we have multiple views here for example we can see the calendar or maybe the gun chart or network diagram and so on so there are mul multiple views that we can uh, we can see in uh, in this software but let's stick to the to the gun chart for this uh, tutorial before creating any task maybe i can uh, i want to define something about the project for example maybe i want to define the start date the current date and so on so a few settings here uh, here before also if I want, I can define the working time. Maybe I have some holidays coming up uh, that I want to mention here in, um, in my report. In my case, this is not, the, this is not an issue, but uh, there are times in which you want to add your maybe national holidays here. After you define the parameters for a project, you probably want to uh, start adding tasks. So this is what I did. I started writing uh, the main stages of building a house. We are trying to build a house right now. Um, as a disclaimer, I'm not an uh, engineering, I'm not a construction uh, specialist. I'm just writing some stuff here for a project. So first of all, uh, we would like to see here uh, related to task mode. Project has two ways of scheduling a task. For example, it can be manual in which you can say, okay, it's going to start uh, now and take for whatever days or it can be automatic and if we make it automatic it will adapt dynamically to to the new conditions because for for our project probably you start with initial with an initial plan but things change along the way so you want to be flexible so this is why i would like to have these uh, tasks automatically scheduled and if you see here in the in the right it automatically schedules them for today because today is the, the start for the project so i want to move them all to automatically scheduled okay i'm done so uh moving on uh, you will probably see that uh, a few tasks here for example the foundation walls roof electrical are somewhat related to construction and i want to put them under construction so what i would like to do what i'll do here is select those and go into the task and use this button here it's like in the you also have a hotkey if you're interested and doing this i can see that construct, construction now is bold and basically now construction is an outline task uh it somewhat summarizes everything that happens here so i'll say foundation takes whatever five days uh the walls will take 10 days to, to build them the roof another five days and the electrical uh, whatever another five days these are totally random numbers uh, i'm now evaluating how much it will take some uh, some tasks will take but what i like to do more is to have dependencies um, around those because for example i cannot build the walls until i have the foundation so this uh, task depends on this one if i go more to the to the right and see that i have here pre predecessors and I can select, for example, and if I write 4 here, let's say 4, the walls task will now be dependent to on the foundation task. And also here, for example, if I write 5 and 6, this task will now be dependent one, uh, will now be related one to, another, to another. And you see, it's, it's much simpler in this way. Let's have a zoom here. It's much simpler than to manually add the dates here and if something changes for example the foundation might take seven days everything will adapt according to this uh, to this change okay so first of all it was the ability to in indent task to have uh, outlines here 
and second of all is the ability to have dependencies across uh, tasks okay moving on maybe uh, for example maybe for me the the start and finish columns here are not that relevant because i work with um, automatic is automatic scheduling and if i want to see the dates here i look uh, in in the timeline so i want to remove those so click and then i have the button to hide column but for example uh, it might be possible in my case to be uh, important to have uh, for example a new column with the percentage complete i want to easily uh, to change here uh, what i what i have Okay, so this is how you can change uh, columns depending on what you what is relevant for you. Uh, moreover, this um, table here on the left actually works like a table and also has some filters. For example, maybe you want to see only the construction stage. And if I have a large project with lots of tasks, it might be interesting to see only only this. And let's the filter here to see show them all uh, I have here in the top is not very visible try to make it a little bit more visible maybe like this okay I have here at the top the ability to add to add tasks on the timeline for example maybe I want to add the construction uh, stage to add it to the timeline I have a button here add to timeline what it does it shows me the construction stage on the timeline. I can also add all the high level uh, maybe stages in the timeline uh, button here. And I can see that here. Of course, they are overlapping because uh, I only set the construction stage uh, here. For example, if I define a predecessor, for example, if I write two, this way it will be not I will not be overlapped anymore because uh, I said prefer the field it takes 10 days okay the construction will start only when the prepare the field is done okay we use project a lot to create um, timelines like this but planning is not only about time about when I'm gonna finish the construction stage it's also about resources what are my resources uh, involved in this uh, in this project so project offers us a way to assign resources on tasks for example uh, for the foundation uh, stage i will need a whatever a machine to dig the ditch or you know five people to do this manually uh, so in this case i'll go into into the resource sheet and here i can define all my resources so when I, when I talk about resources, it, we can have three types of resources. For example, one is work. For example, I have someone, you know, I have five guys that are digging the ditches and their hourly cost is $10 an hour. Okay, so this is a work resource, someone that is working for something. Another one is maybe a material. For example, I'm uh, buying concrete or I'm using a machine or something like that. Or maybe machine could be could be here uh, buying concrete buying sand buying limestone whatever and I can also have the cost uh, resource uh, this one is not dependent on our time and so on it can be like a fixed cost for example if I want to build a house I'll probably have to pay something to the city hall to, to let me build my house the material is uh, around uh, a cost per unit and the work is cost per hour that's define some resources for example the first one is like a machine uh, and uh, here we have 100% because it's about how much uh, I can use it for example like 100% means 8 hours a day standard rate will be like whatever this is in lay I'm from Romania and uh, let's say 40 lay overtime is 50 lay cost of use for example if I'm bringing a machine to my uh, to my house only for traveling there it will cost me maybe like 50 lay okay. let's define another one for example I have concrete this one is not work it's like material I have initials here and the standard rate is whatever I have no idea 100 lay per unit and cost per use is like 
100 lei because if I bring the machine with uh, concrete, it will cost me something, and I can have like uh, whatever other costs. This one will be maybe cost, and I can see here that I don't have anything defined on it, so I can just assign it a value. So let's move back to, to our timeline, for example, for the foundation. I like to assign a resource, I can use this button here or maybe double click on it, I think it was, sorry, uh, click here in the information tab and here in the resources tab I'll assign, uh, so this one is the foundation, was the machine and units, it's okay. So what will this do? It will assign a unit for seven days because that that's the extent, the duration for that task, and it will also calculate somewhere around here uh, how much this would cost me. Like, and the good thing is that if it, this changes, if it, this changes to five days, the cost will be probably will be adapted to take into account the shorter variation. So this is the way you assign resources to, to tasks and maybe you, you can ask me, okay, Radu, what's the point of assigning these resources? So the point is to be able to uh, generate cost reports because you are interested in seeing how much money you spent on a project and this is why you have the reports tab here, multiple uh, types of reports you can also create your own we'll not go into detail in in this video but i see here maybe let's say task cost overview this sounds interesting i can see here how much money i will spend on all these uh, stages in in construction so this is the the point of assigning resources to uh, to task to be able to extract reports uh, uh, as you as you progress okay we're getting closer to the end of this video uh, there are a lot of things you can say about projects a very complex piece of software lots of options we just scratched the, the surface but the idea is to help you create a simple timeline uh, maybe use the automatic planning task dependencies and also assign resources on tasks doing this you have uh, the basics covered and you can start experimenting with reports, you can start experimenting with, with baselines and advanced planning and so on. This was it, hope it was useful, if you liked it hit the like button, if you want to see more videos like this follow me on YouTube and see you on the next video.